everyone welcome back to another video today i'll be showing you how to downgrade your switch back to 10.0 point or 10.2.0 i should say as you can see this switch is on 11.0.1 this is my son's switch he updated it because he wanted to play fortnite but i'm going to show you how you can do, go about download, downgrading this back to a firmware that's able to use custom firmware so let's go over to the PC and copy over all the files that you will need to do this. Before I do that, just keep in mind, if you are not using a mod chip on your system, this is not possible on the Switch Lite or the patch systems. You only can do this on the one that's unpatched. So please keep that in mind. So let's go over to the PC, like I said. Okay, now that we are on the PC, it's time for us to copy over the files that we'll need but first make sure that you sorry um, in um, inserted your SD card should look something like this if you're using a Mariko system if you're using a regular switch you can use the regular atmosphere to downgrade this doesn't really apply to you so I don't see a point of you watching this video unless you just want to give me the view if you're using a Mariko switch and you're having issues downgrading this is how you go about doing it okay so like i said sd card should look something like this i'm going to navigate to this site and download um, retro reloaded this is not the only custom firmware that, that you can use to do it but this is the simplest way to go about doing it that's why i'm using this custom firmware pack you can compile the files manually if you know how to compile atmosphere firmware or so on and so forth but yeah for noobs this is the best way to go about doing it okay one more thing you're going to need to go to the discord um if you haven't watched my previous video you need to go to the discord and ask for the keys in order to use this pack otherwise it's not going to work this is the link for the discord so let me open it up and show you real quick because i know a lot of people just follow the video step by step and don't actually read any of the instructions but as you can see here um, where is it yes you'll need this file if you don't have this file you can't use this custom firmware like I said this is a link for the discord just continue going over it so you guys don't miss it I know that a lot of you just came to the video so hopefully I went over it enough so you'll see that that's required okay oh yeah while that's downloading um you can simply navigate to this side and download the firmware that you want to downgrade to i don't know if i will leaving a link in the description for this because i don't know if the files are copyrighted i think they are so i don't know if i will leaving a direct link so yeah the url is right there if you want to copy it over i'm probably going to downgrade to 10.2.0 this one it should be compatible with sxos also yes it is but i don't think i'll be using it because it has issues that's why 11.0.1 came out so 11.0.0 is buggy so just keep that in mind if you play games like smash it's not gonna work properly and a few other things but i don't remember all of that right off the top of my head right now okay so that's done close it out Go to the bootloader folder you're going to copy this over that you got from the discord and firmwares you can just download it and extract it to the root of the sd card see i already have mine here so i'm not going to waste any time copying them and downloading them that's just going to take up too much time so now that's that, that they are there let me, let me just show you that's how it should look so now that they are there simply eject and go over to the switch oh there should be a program in this custom firmware pack that you can use to download the firmware directly to your switch so if you have issues getting them from the internet you should be able to use that but like i said let's go over to the switch and get this done okay real quick i keep forgetting this because i keep forgetting that the retro reloaded remove the boot at bat but yeah what you're going to do is go to the sxos website if you accidentally deleted the one from your sd card and download the latest beta and you're going to copy this over to the SD card and override the ones that there because this is not going to work if you're using the regular SXOS mod chip without the what's it called spacecraft custom firmware 
so you'll need to copy over the original boot.bat so just simply overwrite that just showing you that that's what it supports that's the latest one it does not support 11.0.1 okay so let me go back over to the switch like i said before okay so now that we are on the switch i'm going to power it on and hold the volume up button so i boot directly into the sx bootloader there we go so what i'm going to do is go to options payload and hit payload.bin launch okay you should be greeted with this screen so you're going to go well i should boot original firmware but i'm not going to do that because you need to downgrade so i'm going to boot atmosphere i know you're not supposed to use custom firmware on your nad but me personally i've never been banned for just using atmosphere on my SysNAD as long as you don't pirate cheat or whatever so if you're not okay with this do not proceed because i'm not responsible if you get banned or anything i've personally never been banned for doing this so yeah i'll proceed okay there we go and as you can see i haven't done anything special still on 11.0.1 i'm going to upgrade it back after this video so he can play his games online but i'm just doing this just to show you that it can be downgraded okay so i'm going to go to album um where is it daybreak hit install navigate to where you have your um firmware on your sd card and then simply click on it it's going to validate all the files to make sure that they are correct after it's done you hit continue um, if you want to erase all the data on your switch you can I'm not going to do that I'm going to preserve them if you're using a FAT32 SD card simply hit that if you want to use both FAT32 or XFAT hit that option I'm going to go with that option because I don't see why not even though I don't use XFAT, I still select that option, so it, it's not a problem. Hit continue, and just wait for the process to be completed. Oh, I guess I should just put it here. There we go. Okay, now that's done. Hit reboot. Okay, I don't think it's gonna actually, oh yeah, it is rebooting. Okay, that took forever, so I'm probably just gonna skip forward in the video to cut all of that extra stuff out. But um, I don't think my EMU MMC is working, so I'm probably just gonna delete that and create a new one. I think it was corrupted or something, but whatever, I'm going to disable it. And then I'm going to boot custom firmware to show you that it's actually downgraded. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the custom theme. Well, I guess you can't see the text. So let me see if I can. Ch no, you're, you're definitely not going to able to see that. But it's currently on 10.2.0. And let me show you. Go to album. SXOS. So as you can see. So that's how you go about downgrading your switch back to a previous version that's actually working with SXOS custom firmware. Anyway guys, that's it for this video, hope it helped and thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, if I did please leave it in the comment section and I'll try to cover it in a later video.